Man, I seen her looking at you from all the way down there. Your old lady gonna so be you're, mad. You gonna get me the hookup? Go yeah, down there, man. say some good hey, words for baby, me. Baby, look at that, that pretty pink dress. Ooh, Los Cabos. I have the sad warfare. I'm the reason everybody here. I say, get up. I make it hot. I make it hot in here. Your feet hurting. I really don't care. Spent D. We're chilling in Cabo with 50, 50 Cent. Cent. You know that. Uh, and yeah, man, you got the video game, new album, movie, reality TV, of course, the G Unit Publishing. Would yeah. you consider yourself a renaissance man? Well, I'd like to consider myself that. That's not a bad thing. Now, with the video game, Blood on the Sand. And forgive me for this description, but it, to me, like playing it a little bit mm -hmm. and the trailer, it's like some black Indiana Jones meets James <laughs> Bond <laughs> shit in the Middle East. It do kind of got the yeah, with the gall, with the skull, you know. Yeah, the, I see where you run, yeah, where yeah. those parallels run, but it is like a it's like a, a virtual experience where you're, you're able to put yourself in the middle of an action film. But like, how involved were you? Motion capture the character because it looks a lot better yeah. than the last game. I actually I went to Los Angeles and I met with them early on. This this project was more hands on than Bulletproof. Cool. Like we were actually because I had the opportunity to go through that first experience. I was like, no, there's certain things that I wanted to happen. And when I went out there, they had like stills, photographs of what they felt like the the actual uh, environment could look like and was telling me the actual story. And I was like, cool, but I had just got finished seeing Blood Diamond. Okay, This okay. was like two years ago. And I was like, yo, I wanted to kind of feel like like this. And I was talking to him because I was while I was traveling, I came across this uh, a magazine that had this this book that had a, a, a actual human skull that they placed diamonds in. Oh, crazy. And they Googled it and they, you know, they took those images. So it it's, it's actually exists, it's priceless, actually. Where's my skull? In this place, everything and everyone is for sale. It's, a skull, someone's human skull that they actually so put there diamonds in. a little in. reality injected into the game. Yeah, there's some real pieces there, but you know, of course you want to make it fictional so it's an actual game instead of, you don't want someone to interpret it actually being real and go right. out and do something right, they're not right. supposed to do. You got music on there, new yeah. tracks. A lot of times people take the video games and they turn the television down, listen to music from, from their own sound from system. A different yeah. source. And that music, for the last five years, if you enjoyed hip hop, was probably something from 50 Cent. This is a pretty good assessment. Pretty good assessment. Yeah, you know, yeah. so now to put that music, like, is this music from me, Justin Timberlake, me and uh, Nicole from the Pussycat Dolls, me from uh, Robin Thicke, me and Akon, me and Dr. Dre performed on my last album. Those, those songs are actually on there, and it's 19 original records that. I placed on it that haven't actually been heard. So. Now, some of these songs that were inspired by the game, and I know you had a hand in well, the script. Of I the already game. knew what the game was, and I wrote that earlier before I actually started working on the game. Because the game is a, is a process. Like this is a two-year effort. So you know, it's, it's something that you work on continuously. And I was like putting pieces to the side because I knew it would come around and be time for me to offer that. Yeah. 